late 2023, Voyager 1, humanity's most distant spacecraft, suddenly begins sending nothing but strings of repeating ones and zeros, a ghost signal from 15 billion miles away. For five months, engineers at NASA stared at screens filled with digital gibberish. No science data, no health reports, just patterns that made no sense. Scientists expected silence when Voyager finally died. Instead, Voyager gave us noise. Data so strange, some wondered if it wasn't just broken hardware, but the first real whisper of what lies beyond the sun's domain. The probe that carried our golden record into the void was speaking back to us in a language we couldn't decode. And what came next only deepened the mystery. Picture this. You send a message to someone 15 billion miles away. It takes 22 and a half hours to reach them. Their reply takes another 22 and a half hours to get back. But when it arrives, it's pure static. Repeating patterns, digital noise that shouldn't exist. That's what Voyager 1 became in November 2023. The universe talking back in code we couldn't read. Every command NASA sent worked perfectly. Voyager received orders and followed them. But every response came back as meaningless strings of data, like the probe was trying to tell us something we weren't equipped to understand. NASA's engineers worked for months to crack the code. They traced the fault to a single failed memory chip deep inside Voyager's 46-year-old computer brain. A tiny piece of hardware the size of your fingernail had corrupted the entire data stream. The solution? Rewrite Voyager's software and split the damaged code across different memory locations where the chip still worked. But what if it wasn't just a malfunction? What if this is what happens when a human signal leaves safe space and crosses into the unknown? When our technology ventures beyond the sun's protective bubble and meets something we've never encountered before? Imagine this. You text someone and the reply comes back as pure static. Do you assume their phone is broken or that something's interfering between you and them? That's the question Voyager forced on NASA, a spacecraft that had worked flawlessly for decades, suddenly speaking in tongues the moment it pushed deeper into interstellar space. What do you think? Let us know in the comments before we reveal what scientists actually discovered hiding at the edge. April 2024, NASA software fix worked. Voyager 1's voice returned crystal clear, and the data it sent back shocked everyone. The probe hadn't just crossed into empty space, it had hit a wall, a cosmic firewall burning at temperatures no one expected. Outside the heliopause, where our sun's influence ends and true interstellar space begins, Voyager's instruments recorded plasma temperatures of 30,000 to 50,000 Kelvin. That's hotter than the surface of the sun. Instead of empty cold, Voyager found a furnace, a superheated barrier marking the edge of our solar system's domain. This isn't theoretical physics. These are direct measurements from instruments designed to last decades in the vacuum of space. The boundary between our sun's bubble and the galaxy beyond isn't a gentle transition. It's a shock front, a wall of fire where two cosmic forces collide. The plasma density jumped by over 40 times. Imagine walking from your living room into a blast furnace. That's what Voyager experienced crossing from our solar neighborhood into interstellar space. Is this just physics, the natural result of our solar wind slamming into galactic material? Or is this a boundary we were never meant to cross? A cosmic warning sign marking the edge of safe space? Stay with us, because what Voyager recorded next could affect every future astronaut heading for Mars. The radiation levels beyond this wall aren't just numbers on a screen. They're a preview of what humanity will face the day we leave Earth's protection for good. Beyond the wall of fire, Voyager 1 detected something even more dangerous. Cosmic rays, high energy particles racing through space at nearly the speed of light. Inside our solar system, these rays are mostly blocked by the sun's magnetic field. But outside the heliopause, in true interstellar space, there's no protection. Voyager's instruments measured cosmic ray intensities never recorded inside our solar neighborhood. Radiation levels that would cook human DNA. This isn't abstract science. These are the exact dangers astronauts will face beyond Earth's magnetic shield. Every Mars mission, every deep space colony, every human who dares to leave our planet's protection. The data is terrifying when you think about it. 
Each cosmic ray is a bullet of pure energy. For the International Space Station, Earth's magnetosphere deflects most of them. For astronauts on Mars, there's no such shield. The radiation Voyager measures in interstellar space is what our species will swim through the moment we become truly spacefaring. Voyager isn't just mapping space. It's warning us what humanity will face the day we leave Earth for good. The probe launched in 1977 is showing us the price of our cosmic ambitions. Every measurement it sends back is a preview of the radiation bath waiting beyond our solar system's edge. Think about it. Every cosmic ray Voyager measures is a bullet of radiation. For astronauts on a Mars mission, without Earth's protection, those bullets won't miss. We're not just exploring space with Voyager. We're scouting the battlefield our children will have to cross. This is why people said Voyager had touched the edge of the universe. It wasn't just distance. It was the data that made no sense. Plasma walls hotter than the sun. Cosmic ray storms beyond anything we'd measured. Signals that turned to gibberish. For the first time, a human machine was sending back evidence that space itself has boundaries we never knew existed. But here's what makes Voyager's glitch truly eerie. The time delay. Every signal between Earth and Voyager, one takes 22 and a half hours to travel one way. When we send Voyager a command, by the time it answers, nearly two days have passed. When the probe started transmitting gibberish, we were speaking to a ghost that may have already changed by the time it replied. Imagine troubleshooting a computer problem, but every question you ask takes 45 hours to get an answer. Every diagnostic command sent into the void. Every response arriving from a machine that might be completely different by the time you read it. NASA engineers weren't just fixing a spacecraft. They were performing surgery on something that existed two days in the past. The psychological weight is staggering. When Voyager glitched, Mission Control couldn't know if the probe was still alive or if they were receiving the digital death rattle of humanity's most distant explorer. Each garbled transmission could have been the last. Each successful command could have been sent to empty space. Some scientists compared it to sending a message into deep time, not knowing if the universe will answer back, not knowing if anything intelligent exists out there to decode what we're trying to say. And yet, Voyager's most haunting message wasn't noise or fire. It was a message in a bottle, one we launched ourselves. Voyager 1 carries the golden record, humanity's message to the stars, music from Bach and Beethoven, greetings in 55 languages, sounds of Earth, crying babies, ocean waves, the laughter of children. Carl Sagan called it a cosmic greeting card from a small blue world. We're not the first civilization to try speaking to the heavens. Ancient Sumerians carved messages on clay tablets and buried them facing the stars. Mayan codices track celestial movements like letters to the gods. Egyptian pharaohs built pyramids as stairways to eternity. Humans have always tried to send messages beyond our world. But Voyager is different. It's the first message that actually left. The first human artifact to cross the boundary between our sun's domain and the galaxy beyond. And now it's out there, carrying Earth's memory farther than we'll ever go. The cosmic prayer we sent into the void has reached the edge, and now the void is whispering back, even if it's just static, even if it's just the noise of a failing computer. The fact that anything answers at all feels like a miracle. Within five to 10 years, Voyager's power will fade completely. Its voice will fall silent, but the golden record will keep drifting through space for billions of years. Long after human civilization ends, that small disk will carry our music and voices toward the stars. It's poetic, isn't it? The first signal we sent beyond our sun carries music and greetings. And the first signal back was chaos. Pure digital noise that NASA spent months trying to decode. Maybe that's what first contact actually looks like. Not flying saucers, just static we can't understand. The data Voyager sends back is forcing scientists to rethink everything they thought they knew about the edge of our solar system. The heliopause isn't just a boundary, it's behaving like a plasma mirror. Particles slam into it and bounce back with surgical precision. The reflection is so sharp, so clean, that physicists are scrambling to explain how empty space can act like a polished surface. Then there's the turbulence. Voyager's magnetometer readings show interstellar space churning like a cosmic hurricane. This isn't the calm void we expected. 
It's interstellar weather, magnetic storms that twist and bend the laws of physics we thought we understood. Plasma clouds racing at impossible speeds. Pressure waves that shouldn't exist in the vacuum between stars. Some scientists use an ocean analogy to explain what Voyager found. Our solar system is a harbor. The heliosphere is our breakwater. And Voyager is the first ship to leave port and sail into open water. Except what it found looks less like calm seas and more like a perfect storm. Waves of charged particles, currents of cosmic radiation, weather patterns on a galactic scale. The implications are staggering. If interstellar space is this violent, this unpredictable, then every assumption about deep space travel needs to be reconsidered. The void between stars isn't empty. It's alive with forces we are only beginning to measure. But the storm isn't Voyager's last mystery. Its silence will be. Voyager 1's nuclear power source is dying. Every year, it produces four watts less electricity. NASA engineers have already started shutting down instruments to conserve energy. Heaters that kept crucial systems warm for decades are going offline. Backup thrusters that haven't fired since 2004 are being reactivated as primary systems fail. Within five to 10 years, the power will drop too low to run any systems at all. No instruments, no radio transmitter, no computer brain to process commands from Earth. Voyager 1 will become a silent tomb drifting through the galaxy at 38,000 miles per hour. When it falls silent, it will drift for billions of years, carrying Earth's memory farther than we will ever go. The golden record will outlive human civilization. It will outlive our sun. Long after Earth itself is consumed by our dying star, Voyager will still be racing toward the constellation Camelopardalis, carrying the sounds of our world into the cosmic dark. But what if its last message isn't silence? What if, in those final moments before the power dies completely, Voyager transmits something no one expects. Not gibberish this time, not random data, but something clear, something intentional, something that proves its journey beyond our sun's protection, changed it in ways we can't imagine. The thought is both terrifying and beautiful. A machine launched by humans, transformed by its passage through interstellar space, sending back one final message before it joins the eternal night. Think about it. A billion years from now, Long after our cities are dust, Voyager will still be out there. To anyone listening, it will be Earth, our voice, our music, our attempt to say hello to the universe. And maybe, just maybe, the universe will finally answer back. This is what Voyager 1 showed us. Ghost signals from beyond the edge, walls of superheated plasma hotter than the sun, cosmic radiation that will cook future astronauts, a golden record carrying humanity's prayer into the void and silence approaching faster than we want to admit. For the first time in human history, we can see where our sun ends and the true galaxy begins. That boundary isn't gentle, it's violent, it's strange. It speaks in languages we're still learning to decode. The data still doesn't make complete sense because we're the first species to send eyes and ears beyond our star's protective embrace. Voyager's glitch wasn't just hardware failure, it was culture shock a human machine encountering physics it was never designed to understand. Crossing from the familiar space of our solar system into the alien environment of the galaxy itself. The probe launched in 1977 to study Jupiter and Saturn. Instead, it became humanity's first ambassador to interstellar space. And what it found there challenges everything we thought we knew about the cosmos around us. If you want us to keep uncovering what's really out there, hit subscribe. Because Voyager may fall silent in the next few years, but the questions it raised will echo for generations. What else is waiting beyond the heliopause? What other boundaries will humanity have to cross? And when we finally send crews to Mars and beyond, will they find the same cosmic storms Voyager is swimming through right now? The answers are coming. Whether we're ready or not, 